Montreal River Harbor, located on Lake Superior, is 100 kilometers north of Sault Ste. Marie on Highway 17. The wild turbulence of this scenic river has frequently been painted by artists and is often visited by photographers. Today the river is harnessed for hydroelectricity by Great Lakes Power on four dams. It's a brave canoeist who challenges this river. The area has a history of logging and is crossed on a large bridge by the Agoma Central Railway. Until the 1960, the area was known as Creos End, marking the end of Highway 17. On my way to visit Ray Corral, I passed through the Twilight Resort. This will be my 29th summer since I purchased the resort. We bought it in 86. And then in the fall, we have a good salmon run and then steelhead again. And out front here, uh, there's always lake trout. Uh, they were picking up some Chinook salmon earlier on. Uh, our accommodations are housekeeping cabins. Uh, most of them are two bedroom. I did a quick drive around through the resort on my way to the cottage area nearby. Dan Miles, the former owner, outlines the history of the area. The first buildings were, were established here, I believe during the Depression, it was a work camp, um, working on the original grade on the Montreal River Hill. Uh, then during World War II, it was a camp for conscientious objectors, uh, primarily Mennonites. Uh, and we, we get quite a few come through here every year uh, now it's the, the sons and grandsons of the original men who were up here during, during the war. And then since just after the war, it's been a, a tourist resort of one description or another. The only store in the area is Northgate, which remains open all year around and provides gas, liquor, and basic shopping goods. It's located at the top of Montreal River Hill. Traveling south towards Sault Ste. Marie, this truck passes through Montreal River area. First of all, the uh, Twilight Road, uh, the North Treos End, over the uh, gorge of the Montreal River, and then approaching the Montreal River Hill. <laughs> Here we are. Hi. Great Corral and his wife, transplanted American, has settled most of the year in a winterized cottage next to Twilight Resort. He loves the scenery and the tranquility, recording it in a high definition webcam and discussing its merits on a Facebook page called Montreal River Harbor. At one time, there was nearly a dozen uranium mines, including the first at the Anno Point, 
commenced in 1949, and then later the Ranwick uranium mine, which was recently explored in 2009. During the 60s and 70s, many people visited the Rhinewick, which was operated as a tourist mine. Thank you.